In this video, we'll see how to use scripting with Lattice. Scripting is one of the most powerful capabilities of Lattice. Uh, it allows you to extend Lattice in a variety of ways. You can write your own custom reports, you can write architecture checkers, you can integrate with graphing packages, with issue tracking systems, uh, and so on. Normally, the scripts manifest themselves under the script menu. And here is a list of all the scripts that already ship with Latex. Uh, we'll take a look at how, uh, how these scripts work and how we can add our own scripts. So we'll look at the script combined source and header files in a second. Let's, uh, it's very useful when you're working with C++ projects. Often in C++ projects, you'll see uh, files with, uh, with the same name, with CPP suffix, and a header prefix suffix. The header file contains uh, the definition of the class and CPP file contains the implementation. From an architectural perspective, you'd like to think of them as one abstraction. Inside Latex, you could select those two files, for instance, and create a parent subsystem for it. Instead, the combined source and header files will do that will find all the files which match that pattern and, and combine them together. So let's apply that uh, to this entire project. So let's select run combine source and header files and notice that it created a subsystem called actor underscore C here, which now contains the CPP file and the header file. And also notice that there is a, a number in parentheses next to the name of the subsystem that was created. And that's something that all the script also did. Uh, it tagged the script to make it easier for us to see which subsystems were created. Now we'll take a look at how to add your own scripts. Typical, normally the, the, the default scripts are in a script directory in the Latex installation. In, or, in order, when we write our own scripts, a best practice is to create your own script directory. So you go to View Preferences and go to the Scripting submenu, and it, and you can then add your own scripting directories. So you can see that I've already added a directory called c colon backslash latex backslash scripts. And now let's bring up a script that 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 I have in my editor, and this script has been taken from the Latex knowledge base uh, and in fact you can go to the Latex knowledge base and you can see a number of example scripts as well as a description of what the various of how to write scripts as well as a variety of, uh, as well as the API that you can use and in this script you can see that there is a an action item called iterate through all subsystems so that's the menu item that will should see under scripts menu once we save this script in our script directory. The other thing to notice is that this script looks like Java, and in fact, it is Java. The, lang the scripting language that Latex uses is Groovy, which is a Java language. So now I'll save this script file in the script directory that we created, and now when I go to the script menu, I can see that I have a new menu item called iterate through all subsystems, and if I run this, it went and iterated through all of the subsystems and printed them out. In a future video, we'll take a look at how to create your own custom reports uh, and to, to actually understand the API that you use to write your scripts.